and my fellow classmates, we are from group 14, would like to present our strategy audit regarding company NTPM Holdings Berhai. Before we proceed with our presentation today, let me introduce our group members. First of all, we have Lim Ai Hoi, and then we have Sharazi, Madeline Young, me, myself, Shazani Fazana, and Mawadatul Husna. Next, I'll pass to Sharazi to proceed with our presentation today. Now I will present about the company profile. This is the company quick overview. The company was founded in 1975 by Mr. Lee C. Jin and began its operation under the NTPM banner. The company was Malaysian multinational pub and paper and consumer goods company and is one of the world's largest paper manufacturer. The company has a strong presence not only in Malaysia but also in Singapore, Indonesia, Thailand and Vietnam. The company has eight sales office come delivery center, of which six are located in Peninsula, Malaysia, one in Sabah, one in Sarawak, and one in Singapore. Production capacity of 250 tons a day, or approximately 90,000 tons per annum, with a total 16 paper making machine. Currently, NTPM is operating at approximately two thirds of its production capacity and intends to continue continue to upgrade its machinery to, to further increase its production capacity. The company have two main products, which is tissue and personal care. Under tissue segment, they have three products, which is premier tissue, royal gold, and QT. Under the personal segment, they have two products, which is, which is care intimate and GFX. The company vision is to be a world-class paper product manufacturer, and market leader by providing quality product which consistently satisfy the needs and expectation of the customer. The company have five missions. Firstly, to be a world-class manufacturer and distributor for the diversified range of consumer product. Second, confident of providing consumer with a good quality and good value product based on their market current market reputation. And third, Sales and marketing team are passionate in developing leading brands with significant market share in each product segment or continuously enhance the knowledge and skill of their people, improve the process and management system, and alleviate the working environment. And the last one, they want to be a good employer and neighborhood. Next, I will pass to the next presenter. Thank you, Sharazi, for the explanation. Hi, my name is Mawadatul Husna Binti Mustafa, metric number 275354. For my part, I will explain four strategy issues that appear in NTPM holding Berhad's current situation. The first strategy issue that appear in NTPM current situation is material pricing volatility. It is a significant issue that affects the profitability and competitiveness of Nibong Tebal, Paper mill and TPM holdings per height. This is because raw materials such as pulp make up a large portion of the cost of producing paper products, and fluctuations in their price can have a significant impact on the bottom line of the company. The cost of raw materials, particularly pulp, had fluctuated in 2020 due to factors such as supply chain disruptions caused by the COVID 19 pandemic resulting in an increase in the cost of production for NTPM Holdings Berhad and negatively impacting the company's profitability and competitiveness in the market. The company needs to closely monitor and manage the cost of raw materials to maintain its competitiveness. The second strategy issue that appear in NTPM current situation is rise of freight costs. NTPM Holdings Berhad has reported a 93.2% drop in its 1Q22 net profit as per research from Az Azwa. The major factor for this drop are the higher raw materials and freight costs. Freight costs plays a significant role in the cost of producing paper products and their increase has a negative impact on the co company's profitability and competitiveness in the paper product industry. The company's products are sold both domestically and internationally and therefore, freight costs play a significant role in the company's overall expenses. The reason for the rise of freight costs are varied and can include factors such as fuel price, labor costs and supply chain disruptions which led to higher costs for shipping companies and pass on to companies that rely on their service. 
In conclusion, the rise of freight costs is a major concern for companies that rely on the transportation of goods such as NTPM, leading to lower profit margins and making it more difficult for the company to compete. In addition, the third strategy issue that appears in NTPM current situation is upward labor cost pressure. According to Tan 2022, upward labor cost pressure is one of the major issues for Nibong Tebal Paper Mill and TPM Holdings Berhad. This refers to the increasing cost of wages and benefits for workers, which makes up a significant portion of NTPM's expenses. As wages and benefits increase, the company must either absorb these costs or pass them on to consumers through higher price, putting pressure on the company's profitability and competitiveness. Malaysia's government has implemented minimum wages increase, making it more expensive for companies like NTPM to hire and retain workers and leading to an increase in the cost of producing paper and potential higher price for consumers. The competition for skilled labor in the industry could also drive up labor costs for NTPM. These factors could lead to a reduction in the number of employees or reduce employment benefits which will affect the workers negatively and the company may need to cut costs in other areas to maintain profitability. The last issue that appears in NTPM current situation is foreign exchange fluctuations. NTPM Holdings Berhad is exposed to foreign exchange risks due to fluctuations in currencies of sales and imports as well as borrowings in foreign currencies. The company operates in Malaysia and exports its products to other countries, which means that changes in the value of a currency can negatively impact the company's financial performance. For example, if the value of the Malaysian ringgit MYR decreases against the US dollar USD, the company will receive less MYR for each USD it earns from exports and the imports of raw materials will become more expensive. In 2020, MYR depreciates by around 6% against USD due to the COVID-19 pandemic, resulting in a significant impact on the company's financial performance as the company's net margin Net profit margin decreased from 10% in 2019 to 7% in 2020. The company may enter forward contracts to mitigate the risk and also take steps to minimize its foreign currency exchange exposure in procurement and purchasing agreements with both local and foreign suppliers. That's all for my part. Thank you so much. Hey to Dr. and everyone, my name is Madeline Yong with metric number 272 at now, I will continue with a third analysis of the NTPM Holding Berhad Company. Okay, so the first strength is a strong brand recognition in Malaysia market, which is NTPM has a long uh, history of producing paper product and has built a strong reputation in the market. So, second is a wide range of uh, product segmentation. So, there are two primary segments uh, of the company that provide, which is the tissue segment and the personal care segment. Okay, the third one is a strong awareness of environmental friendly within product. So the company is a such an uh, eco-friendly, environmental sustainable company which committed to reduce adverse environmental impact in the manufacturing operation. So number four is the product innovation and development. Uh, the company working on producing new product uh, and then reducing costs to maximize waste and exploring the new market. And then the number five is a high manufacturing productivity. According to the annual report in 2021, the total annual tissue paper product capacity and has grown to 160,000 per year. And then the last one, they uh, have the experience management team. And the NTPM offer a team of season manager with uh, extensive knowledge in the paper product sector. Okay, now is a weakness. So the first weakness is the lack of advertising, which is the premier product issue fail to capture the customer attention uh, compared to other competitor brands. And then second is the unstable of the financial condition. Uh, the lower volume of sale of the tissue paper product with the primary cause of the decline in revenue. And then the highly competitive industry. So there are many competitors who are afraid of uh, freedoms to enter and no monopoly market. And then number four is the highly dependence on a uh, ha uh, single raw material, which is the company primarily strongly relying uh, just on a single raw materials, uh, which is the wood palm. And then lastly is a limited international present. 
So the company lack of the significant uh, export operation and relies heavily uh, on the home market. So now I will continue with the opportunities. So the first is initiated conducting a digital e-commerce. So the company is increased the mark, uh, company profit in an easy and faster way. And then second is the market demand of the product. The market demand of tissue paper and the personal care goods is an opportunity. And then the diversified distribution channel, which is focusing on producing a uh, new good and lowering cost of the reduced waste and also opportunities to enter the new businesses category. So lastly is the development of the new uh, product. To ensure the product is useful uh, to the consumer and the product is excellently quality. Okay, for the treat, the first one is because of the COVID-19 outbreak. So the company actually did not earn much in 2019 to 2020. So the second is the rising cost of raw materials, which is the limitation, limitation of the raw material in making tissue. So third is economic uncertainty condition. And the fourth one is uh, global competitive, which is rising unemployment, decreasing the profit and increase the cost. So the last one is the environmental regulation of the company. Good day to Dr. everyone. My name is Lima Hui, metric number 272178. Now I will going to explain the suggestions of Toast strategies to NTPM holding Bharat. For the strength and opportunity strategies, the first one is we suggest NTPM to maintaining the product in wild range to increase the demands of the product, thus can generate the revenue to the company. The second SO strategy, which is NTPM, should increasing the power of promoting with the digital commerce so it can attract more target customer in the market. Moreover, NTPM can expanding the manufacturing size to maintain the wage of employee. And the last SO strategy is NTPM should improve the technology infrastructure such as the machines in the productions. For the weakness and opportunity strategy, we suggest NTPM creating the opportunity to identify new alternatives to generate company profits. Other than that, we also suggest NTPM to implement the IT advancements to spread the product globally. The last WO strategy, which is the NTPM can develop the business strategy to enhance the product performance and sales pro pro promotions. Furthermore, for the strengths and threat strategy, we suggest NTPM should have the high awareness of an uncontrolled environment to adapt the problem more sensibly. The second ST strategy is NTPM can implement the research and development R&D process to introduce new products or improve the existing products in market. We also suggest NTPM to diversifying the innovations of the product to increase the demands of different segments of customers. Lastly, NTPM needs to be focusing on the loyal customers and satisfy them with the quality products. Next, for the weakness and threat strategy, we suggest NTPM to use various platforms to promote the product in helping increase the demands and profit. Secondly, NTPM can implementing growth and strategic to strengthen the existing brands. Lastly, we suggest NTPM choosing local raw material to avoid overspending money in maintaining the operations expenses. That's all for my part. Thank you. Good morning to Dr. Ashton and my fellow classmates. My name is Shazana Fazana Binti Sulaiman. My metric number 273044. I will proceed with our presentation today, which I'll be talking about the recommendations that NTPM Holdings Warehead can do based on the issues they faced. The first issue is material pricing volatility. They can overcome this issue by doing a long-term contract with suppliers. For instance, if Nibong Toba Paper Mill NTPM Holdings Warehead signs a long-term agreement with a supplier that specifies a fixed price of $500 per ton of pulp, it can budget and plan for the expense over the period of the agreement. The corporation is protected from cost increases even if the market price of pulp rises to $600 per ton because it is still paying the fixed price. In addition, a company like NTPM Holdings Warehouse can better control the impact of material pricing volatility by having a diversified range of suppliers. As an example, 
The COVID-19 pandemic's effects on the supply chain resulted in a large increase in the price of pop in 2020. NTPM holders were high had to decide whether to raise prices or reduce productions as a result of the increase in production costs. Multiple suppliers enable NTPM holders to have a fallback in case one has disruptions or increasing increases pricing. For the second issue is rise of fake cost. NTPM holdings were high can reduce the amount of inventory it holds by implementing a lean inventory management strategy and thus reducing the amount of inventory that needs to be transported in order to overcome the issue. By reducing the amount of inventory held, the company can also reduce the risk of inventory becoming spoiling, which can lead to further cost savings. Mm -hmm. Furthermore, NTPM holdings very high can also negotiate better rates with freight companies or explore alternative and more efficient freight methods. This can include exploring the use of fuel efficient vehicles or looking into the use of rail or water transportation instead of road transportation. Other than that, NTPM holdings were high can implementing technology and automation to overcome issue upward labor cost pressure. For instance, the business can spend money on automated equipment that can carry out repetitive activities like cutting, folding, and packaging paper goods. This may contribute to a rise in productivity, a decline in the demand for human labor, and a decrease in labor cost. Last but not least, for the issue of foreign exchange fluctuations, the company can set the price of the products in various currencies or adjusted based on exchange rate changes. For instance, if Malaysia ringgit weakens in comparison to the US dollar, the business might modify its prices to maintain its competitiveness in the US dollar denominated market.